Hi, my name is Jules from Roland and this is the V-Drums Acoustic Design VAD506 and VAD503. V-Drums Acoustic Design takes over 20 years of know-how and experience and development from our V-Drums and brings to it an acoustic look and feel which makes the whole electronic drumming experience a lot more immersive. There's two kits in the range, the VAD506 and the VAD503. Essentially, they both use the same pads and the same components, but just in two different configurations. A full five-piece set that you see here, which is the VAD506, and a one-up, one-down configuration, which is the VAD503. Let's start by taking a look at the components that come with each kit. So this kit is the VAD506. It's a five-piece kit. Starting with the snare drum, it's got a 14 by four and a half stainless shell digital snare pad called the PD140DS. And I'll talk later in this video about the digital pad playability. I've got a PDA100 10 inch tom. This is 10 by seven. I've got a PDA120 12 inch tom. That's 12 by eight. I've got a PDA140F 14 by 14 floor tom, and I've got a KD200 20 by 16 inch kick drum. I've got VH10 cymbals here, hi-hat cymbals, in two parts which fit to an acoustic uh, hi-hat stand. I've got a 14 inch crash. This is actually the CY14CT. T meaning thin, and I'll talk about that in just a few moments. I've got a CY16RT. This is a brand new crash cymbal, 16 inches diameter, also thin. And I've got the CY18DR digital ride cymbal. All of that is powered by the TD27 module. And this is the VAD503. It uses the same PDA100 10 inch tom. The same PDA 140F 14 inch floor tom as well. Also it comes with the PD 140DS digital snare, CY18 DR digital ride and the CY14 CT thin crash as well as the VH10 hi-hats and of course the KD200 kick pad. All of the shells that you see here are genuine wooden shells with our Roland electronic sensing mounted inside the shell. All of the shells on the VAD 506 and 503 are finished in this Midnight Sparkle wrap finish. It's a really nice black with a little bit of silver that really helps it pop underneath the lights. All of the lugs are a unique Roland design, finished in really nice high-end chrome. The cymbal stands that you see are supplied. So we have in this kit two cymbal stands here with a tom mount, both of which are booms which can also be mounted straight. And we have a cymbal boom stand for the ride cymbal as well. It's important to note here that the snare is mounted to an acoustic snare drum stand that is not included. The hi-hat stand is not included either, and nor is the kick pedal or the drum throne. But the clamp for mounting the module is included in the package. The snare and the tom pads come fitted with Roland's legendary and unique mesh heads. The toms have two ply mesh heads and they are two layers of mesh that are mounted at 45 degrees to one another. And they're mounted to the shell in exactly the same way an acoustic head is mounted to an acoustic drum. The floor tom, however, has three layers of mesh, two layers at the top and bottom with a free floating layer of mesh in between. The reason for using a three ply mesh head on the floor tom is as we increase the diameter, three layers help with the rebound and the resistance. We also use the same three ply mesh head on the PD140DS snare pad as well. All of Roland's mesh heads are tension adjustable. That means that you can turn a drum key on the tension rods and adjust the tension for your perfect feel across the kit. That might mean, for example, you want your 10 inch tom to be tuned higher than your 12 inch tom and higher than your 14 inch tom. So as you go between them, there's a slightly looser feeling as you go around just as you might feel with your acoustic drum set as well. The KD200 kick drum has an electronic drum pad 
built into a Mylar drum head. That head is fitted to the shell so that when you play the pad, you're physically moving air and getting that resistance from the kick drum for a very genuine pedal feel. Coming back to the crash cymbals, these new crash cymbals here, the CY14CT and the CY16RT, are thin. They're actually 40% thinner than our previous V cymbals. What that means is they feel more compliant under the stick. So as you play, they move a little bit more freely. Let's start by taking a look at the playability of the snare. This is a multi-sensor pad which connects to the module via a USB connector. The pad itself has got three different playing areas. I've got a head sound, a rim shot, and a cross stick. And when I place my hand on the snare, the sensors are picking up that my hand is there and automatically detecting the cross stick. The tom pads have got two sensors. So we have one for the head, and another for the rim. The PDA toms from the VAD5 series kit have a brand new sensor design system inside, which is designed to remove any hotspots. Hotspots are a louder sound when you hit the center of the head, but by moving the sensors to the edges of the toms, we remove that hotspot. The hi-hat comes in two parts. We have a top cymbal and a motion sensor which fits to the acoustic hi-hat stand. I have an edge sound and a bow sound. And I can play from open to closed. The crush cymbals are two zone. So I have an edge sound and a bow sound and I can choke the cymbal too. The ride cymbal is the 18 inch CY18DR. This is also a digital cymbal which connects to the module via a USB connector, just like the snare. I can choke it. I can play the bell, the bow, and the edge. The multi-sensors in here pick up all of my playing information and even where my hand is, which gives me some unique playability, the behavior of which is just like an acoustic ride cymbal. So let me show you. It goes from a muted sound to a fully open and expressive sound. So let's take a look at the TD27 module. The TD27 module has 100 kits inside. So at the moment I'm kit number one. That's a preset kit and I've got 55 preset kits in here. So if I go all the way to number 55, you'll see that these kits are already made for you. Any one of them could be edited, but we've already made those for you so that you can get going and get playing straight off the bat, maybe even give you some inspiration. 
because 56 to 100 are what we call user kits. That means they're really a blank canvas for you to completely edit and change, customize and rename. In fact, you can do that with any of the kits inside this module, even presets, but we've kept there is 55 presets and 45 user kits. Inside the module itself, I've got 728 different instruments. The way I like to think of that is it's like a warehouse full of drums, drum machines, cymbals, percussion instruments, and you can pick any one of those instruments and assign it to any pad or even any part of a pad, just like I showed you earlier on with the different zones across toms, snares, and cymbals. So for example, I'm just gonna go into the kit edit menu here. And you'll see I've got a snail fat snare. That's currently assigned to the snare pad. But if I wanted to, I could change that for a different snare drum. I quite like that beach fat snare drum. But even I could change it to a completely different instrument type, such as a cross stick, an electronic snare, a tom. or even a percussion instrument. The TD27 actually has a quick edit function which makes it really quick, easy and intuitive for you to change your sound and customise it to suit your own needs. So as I've just shown you, you can choose a different instrument in the editing menu. This knob up here on the right hand side of the module, just by hitting the pad and turning that dial, I could choose a different instrument just by doing that. If I were to hit a tom or hit a cymbal and turn that dial, it's also going to change the instrument assigned to that pad instead. I've also got the ability to change tuning of that instrument. To change damping or muffling. and even to change the level of the instrument, perhaps to make it louder or quieter in comparison to other instruments in the kit. I've also got the ability to go much, much deeper with my editing here. So for example, in the editing menu, I can adjust the depth of the shell. I can change the head type between coated or clear. I can change the amount of overtone I'm getting from the snare or from any drum or cymbal. And even adjust the tension of the strainers. I can add a sub instrument underneath the main instrument that you're hearing here. So for example, I've got the beach snare drum. If I wanted to, I could turn the sub instrument on, choose a different instrument type. So in this case, I'm going to choose a user sample. And as I play the drum, I'm getting the main instrument and I'm getting my sample as well. I can even adjust the volume that that second sub layer comes in In the edit menu, I've got the ability to adjust the volume of different pads. So it means as I hit an individual pad, such as the hi-hat or such as the snare, I can change the different volume and mix the, the balance of the kit. I've got pad EQ. That allows me to change the equalization on an individual pad across low frequencies, mid frequencies, and even high frequencies. So for example, adding a little bit more low end there to this snare drum. I've got pad compression. So that means that for an individual pad, I can add a different amount of compression to squeeze the frequencies of that instrument a little bit. I've also got master EQ and master compression that I can apply to the whole kit. I can add effects to my instrument. So I can actually use three different types of multi-effect at any one time on any individual pad. And I've got effect types including delays, tape echoes, 
choruses, phases, flanges, and even reverb. So for example, I've got a really long reverb on my snare drum right there. I can also adjust the room. So I could adjust the reverb itself. Or I could adjust the room type between a small studio, larger rooms, stages, or even halls. And I can send different amounts to different individual pads and instruments in the kit. I've got a transient designer that allows me to adjust the amount of attack I get on an individual drum. Or the release, so how long I get sustain on that instrument. I've also got something called pure acoustic ambience inside the TD27. That allows me to play in different ambient environments so I can imagine that I'm in different spaces. So for example, I've got different types of ambience including clear, warm, dry, mild, bright and more. And I can send different amounts of that ambience to different individual pads and instruments in the kit. There's further ways that I can edit the individual sound of my kit. And I spoke earlier on, for example, about adding your own user samples. That's a feature of the TD27 that allows you to record your own WAV sample files and import them into the module, assign them to any pads, or assign them as a second layer underneath any individual pad. So for example, you could sample your own snare drum at home, perhaps from a recording session, introduce that into the module and play that on a pad, or play it underneath any of the instruments inside the TD27. Having an SD card not only lets you import your own user samples, but also lets you play songs as well. So what you can do is put your own tracks, your favorite songs, as WAV files onto the SD card, put that inside the TD27 module and hit the song button. That then lets you choose from internal songs or to play songs from an SD card. This is one of the internal songs. And having those internal songs just gives me things that I can jam along with, but you can also run them entirely off your own SD card. I've also got a built-in metronome inside the TD27 that allows me to adjust all kinds of different tempos, time signatures and note values. I've also got a coach function and that allows me to do things like check my timing or take me through warm-up routines and that really helps me to track my progress and even stay motivated to keep playing. One of the cool things about the TD27 is it has Bluetooth connectivity and that allows you to pair that with other Bluetooth devices so you can stream music directly from them straight into the TD27 module. So for example, I'm gonna pair my smartphone with this module. Making sure that Bluetooth is turned on on your smart device, go to the Bluetooth menu inside the TD27, turn it on, hit pairing, and I'll see the TD27 appear as a device on my smartphone. I'm going to pair the two and now I can stream audio directly from Spotify, YouTube, music on my phone into the TD27. TD27 has traditional MIDI in and outs but also has a USB connection by connecting this to a computer, you can get USB MIDI, but you can also get USB audio, allowing you to record every individual pad and effects, ambience and more as individual channels directly into your door. Finally, let's talk about all the different inputs and outputs we have on the TD27 itself. First of all, the TD27 has four additional trigger pad connections. If you're using this with a TD27KV or a VAD506, Crash 2 will already be used, giving you three additional trigger pad inputs. With that, you can add more cymbals, more toms, 
BT1 trigger pads, and more. I have a stereo output as left and right, but I also have two individual outputs, and the TD27 allows me to assign different pads or instruments to those outputs. So for example, I could have a kick and a snare as individual outputs to a mixer or a front of house desk, and I could have everything else coming through the master outputs. I've got three digital pad connections on the back of the TD27 module, one for the PD140 DS snare drum, another for the CY18DR ride cymbal, and another for future upgrades. Lastly, I've got a foot switch connection, which allows me to connect a foot switch to change things like kits or even start and stop songs inside the TD27 module. So that's the V-Drums Acoustic Design 5 Series kits. I've talked you through all the detail. Now you need to find a Roland authorised retailer and go and check them out for yourself. Thanks.